Hello and welcome to Tonic Studios. Today I'm surrounded by absolutely gorgeous little gift boxes. So that's what I'm going to share with you. So today we have our exquisite envelope die sets. Now they come in two sets, but they're all part of your showcase. So individually, oh, hold on. We have this set, which is going to make this box. And then we have the other set, which is this one. I'm trying to get it with no flare. Got a little bit of flare with the acetate. And that is going to make this box. So they both beautiful for gift cards. If you're a fan of giving gift cards, then I think this is perfect for you. And I know a lot of the time now we can't get out to the shops and different things and find things that we want. So a gift card is the most useful present you can give to anyone. So the first one, we're going to go back to this one first. This is the dies for it. So it's got one cut for the wallet. Then you have layers for your tag inside for you to write on. And you also have layers for the outside of the box. And as with all our dies, you've got your verso layers to go inside. So these are beautiful floral designs. You can still make them for a man. And these designs can just be left with pattern paper or just plain. So that's your first box, your little gift box. And your next one then is this style box, which is going to come from this die set. So you're going to cut two of the bases and just glue them along the rectangle at the back. And then the little tabs will glue in as well then. So you have all your layers. You've got your, your tag to go inside for you to write on. You've got your little lock-in mechanism. And then you've, I've got, I've just cut these this morning. I've just noticed I haven't got the buckle. I've missed the buckle. So the buckle is going to cut this beautiful little buckle here. But it is in your set. And then we have the patterned layers then to go on top. So again, they're a floral design, but don't, that doesn't rule out men and boys and everything else. And anyone that doesn't like florals. So what do we do with these little envelopes? We, let me just show them here. We made them as lovely little envelopes with tags. So that would hold your little gift card inside. Maybe you've got earrings or jewelry or something like that that would pop in. Um, I'm just deciding, is there a chocolate out there that would fit in these boxes? So you can use your pattern papers and your gorgeous little gems. The purple one is from Ruth and this one is from Shilpa. So Shilpa's gone with the pattern paper, made the box. Oh no, this is Vicky. Sorry, Vicky. That's Shilpa, I thought I had that right. They look the same, so I assume they were both the same. Um, Vicky's used the pattern paper to make the box this time. So then we've got two stuck together. So in the back then, we've got a little card. So it says for you. And then inside, we have a little tag. So you can put a tag and a card in the same box. So just glue two together. Then the next one, we've got a little bit glittery here with our glitter card. Again, so, so pretty. And this is from Ruth. I haven't got names on everybody, so I'm not sure who they all belong to. I'm absolutely loving the colours of this one, how coordinated they are. I can't see a name on it. I'm going to kind of guess it may be Jen, but I'm sorry if I've got the wrong one. She's used the buckle to make a little belly band. This would be nice either to give as a gift to someone for them to give gift cards or whether you could fill each of those with a little gift. 
really pretty. You can also pop them onto the front of a card. So you've got your, your way of writing, plus you've got your card on the front. That one was Vicky. This one is Dawny. So she's popped a little shelf on the card, rested the little die case on top, uh, the little envelope case rather, and used the, the lovely stripes to coordinate. Pop them on the front of a present. So you've got your gift and then you've got your lovely card on top. Then we'll move over to the other box. So this is how the other box makes up. So you're going to cut two of the bases for this one. And this is from Ruth. So open it gently. So the sides will open as well. And then you've got room for a little gift or your card inside. And they slide in. And then you can seal it. There's another one here that's been done with magnets. Not sure who's made it, but she's popped a magnet underneath the, the buckle and also on the other side. And this one opens up. This one looks really summery to me with the colours. There we go. So that's really pretty as well. Then we've got, you, again, very spring-like summery. This one I've tied a different way. So I've used a little bow so we can undo that just to show that you can tie them a different way. So we've done a bit of paper piecing on this one. Let me just see if I can get this ribbon out. Oh, come on. This lame ribbon always wants to stay together. So I've tied it in the opposite direction. So we've popped a nice little bow inside onto the card and this time I think I've glued the card in place. You could pop your gift card on top. So that's another way of doing it. Um, we've got a couple more really, really pretty designs. Now that to me looks quite masculine as well with the stripes. And they still do like flowers because you've got a lot of men gardeners. This is Vicky again. It's a lovely lilac and navy. Added some crystal drops. Dream drops they look like. And then we've used a little bit of glitter card on the front too for the buckle. And also we've made this one out of our uh, pearlescent card and done a little bit of drop shadowing. So if you don't like the patterns, make them plain. Alternate the colours. This is a different way of tying it up. Really, really pretty. So we've got the slide inside and then the buckle on top. And one thing, I don't mention it enough, but don't forget, your dies can also be cut out. Your die cuts can be made into stencils. And that's what Dawny's done here. She's added a little ribbon tail through the buckle, but stenciled all the background using a die cut. So that's a nice idea. And she's made the little box to match. So she's taken the whole die cut pattern there and just stenciled through it. Lovely idea. And I like this one as well. This is a lovely little card. Dawny's put the clasp onto a magnet. So you can open your card. A little thanks for everything you do. So important, but a nice little thank you. So I like that decoration. And then we've got another one then. Have I got a name? This is Shilpa. And Shilpa's layered it. I'm just trying to show you the layers. So she's popped some pads on the back there and just stuck it onto foam pads onto the front of the card and coordinated the colours with her backing paper. So I think there's some fabulous little ideas there. These dies will be available just exclusive to the Tonic website. So have a little look on the website and I'm sure you'll pick up some bargains. Take care. Bye.